morning guys welcome to today um hey good morning guys welcome to today <laughs> she already there ruby already said it yeah ruby's like rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah, she's cold. yeah she needs her blanket fix all right hurry up we gotta oh. go good morning guys welcome to today's video today is the coldest day of the year you wonder it took me so long i was talking to somebody last night and they live in florida oh, i'm so jealous it was 70 the high 70s yesterday what took you so long gab my hair. Why? What happened to your hair? My hair was really annoying me because it was so greasy because I didn't have a shower yesterday. It was so greasy that it was itching my skin. Fine. Now since you washed it, it's fine? I have sensitive scalp. Or you need to wash your hair more often. I was gonna, but then I was like, nah, tomorrow's my day. To yeah. Because I'm riding because I hate washing it and then riding and getting it all sweaty. Yes. Who else sets their hair wash schedule to their riding schedule? Because you've got to have a shower after you ride. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, Gabby gets sweaty. I'm I don't. Go. I'm actually wearing this. All right. We'll get a coat on because you need to be warm. Let's go. Inches. You are not coming down, puppy. Puppers. That thing is a devil. She, what did I say? It and makes me run around. When, I, when we bought Penny for... When we bought... Daisy. When we bought Daisy for you, what did I say to you? What were the words? She's of, a brat. She's a brat. And she is a brat. Isn't yeah. she? She is definitely a brat, a really cute brat. She just runs around all crazy. No, she's it, a cutie. She is You're gonna... such a cutie. Hi, Pen. Everybody's worried about you. Watching you get up yesterday. So Sam came down yesterday. Ma, Ruby, no. Sam came down yesterday to feed the horses like he always does. He's such a good boy. And Penny was just getting up. She had been laying down for a long time. He caught her unaware. And she was just getting up, and she definitely looked really stiff and awkward. You hurry up. Sure. Oh, what's all that be ready? It's the best record for freezing without snow. Yeah, it's freezing. Like, my hair is frozen. Yeah, that's why you don't wash your hair in the morning. <laughs> Sam came down and fed Penny, and she, you guys all saw, she was really stiff. And so I said to her, like, did she seem okay? And he's like, yeah, she seems fine. Remember I told you guys he doesn't notice anything? So then later that night, I was watching the video, and I was like, holy heck, she looks awful. <laughs> and then I messaged Fiona, and Fiona said, you know, like, it was really cold. It gets cold. She has a lot of shavings. You guys can't tell. It's thick. Kind of packs down, though. But I will put more in there. Anyway, she said that it's probably from the cold. Or it could be that she's stiff from laying down, like she's an old girl. Let's get some stuff for her joints. I'll show you in a little bit. Sometimes she's so funny when I show her the medicine. Sometimes she just gobbles it. See? <laughs> oh, she. Oh! Gosh. <laughs> it's on the ground. That is not cool. Penny pickle. No, it's going to have sawdust on it. Okay, let's try it. You have to have it. You know it's your medicine. You know that I always win. You know that it has to happen. I think she likes it now, though. I do think she likes it. She just says that it's just awkward me shoving it in her mouth. I think she's like, don't hurt me, don't hurt you me. You guys like my hat? We love your hat. All right, pass her her grain there. No, she, that was the other medicine that she took, the Meprazole. She had to wait for a while after. It was a pain, that stuff. Take her off, girl. No, leave it on. All right, so anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for all your recommendations. I'm going to put more shavings in her stall. She does have quite a bit, but some people said maybe it's not far enough forward. And she's a big horse to fit in this tiny stall. But yeah, I did notice it. Chino fit. Yeah. I did notice that she was really stiff getting up. And I've noticed in the past when she's rolled, once she looked okay getting up, and another time she did look kind of stiff, like worse than she did. Like sometimes she looks worse getting up and sometimes she doesn't. Mostly she doesn't, but two times she has kind of looked off. There will not be a lot of uh, riding during the winter months because it is way too cold for us, for me, for our, me and Penny, Penny and I. Uh, I'm going to do my best though. But once the spring happens and the vet comes and does their shots, I'm going to have him um, look at her hocks a little bit better, look at her legs a little bit better and do whatever we need to do to make sure that she's super comfortable for the season. Gabby's obsessed with her frozen hair. All right, let's no, go. No, we're gonna get unfrozen. Oh, I might as well wait till you go back to the house. Soon. Yeah, I remember when I was young, we'd I'd wash my hair before I'd go to school, and I'd have to walk to school. And by the time I got to school, my hair was always frozen. Now you wearing my hat. Yeah, Sophie's smart. All right, let's get ready. <laughs> oh, you already threw hay. Yeah. 
Oh, you are amazing. People, when uh, we blamed you when Sophie fell, you know what people said, Gabby? What? Gabby does so much. She helps you guys so much. And yeah, then you treated her. And you guys treated her like crap. Sure, up, staying on. But do I tell you all the time that I appreciate your help? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I do tell you. It's literally so cold. I'm going to just clean the poop in the arena and get the horses out. And then we're going back up to the house. There will be no spending a lot of time out here today. Today I want to show out who owl holler. Oh my god, the poop is frozen. It's frozen. Uh, I want to shout out who our hoot owl holler. She's an older lady and the reason that I love her and I notice her and she's such a huge part of our day fam is because she's always kind, but she's not just kind. She she tells, us, she tells us what she thinks, but she always has such a nice way of saying it. But the thing that I love the most about her is that she's so inclusive. She treats everybody in our comment section so kindly. She rushes to the aid of other people all the time. Like, she is the one, she's like, she's like the mom of everybody on our channel. She remembers everybody. She is such a huge part of our family. She's always the first one to offer a kind word to somebody who needs it, suggestions for somebody who needs it. She remembers birthdays. She remembers everything, you guys. Like, so happy to have you here, Hoot. All right, this is how cold it is, you guys. Get ready. I can't even chop up the poo. All right, it's cold. So I just cleaned Penny's stall, and she has seven bags of shavings in there. Seven, that's a lot. And it's about five, maybe six inches thick, her bedding. It just doesn't look awesome because it's like sawdust, so you can't really tell how deep it is. It is friggin' deep. I did move it. You know when you bend your knees too much? I did move them a lot more forward, though. I just don't like her to have like sawdust and shavings in her, in her hay. But I did move them a little bit closer. I think whatever it is, like she was looking good this morning when I let her out. So I think she's stiff after laying down, getting up, possibly, like Fiona said. But we will see. Like whatever comes our way with Penny, we will deal with it when it comes our way because I love her and she makes me happy and I'm excited for her to feel good and to have what she needs. But anyway, if you can't tell, it is freezing out here like nobody's business. I have these little gloves on and my fingertips are frozen. Unfortunately, it is a riding day for the girls. It's a riding day and it's so cold, you guys. It's like so cold out there but we are gonna go out there and we're gonna ride because it's only gonna get colder like we're not gonna be put off our horses just because it's freezing cold and we might die my fingers are still frozen I've been home for an hour I'm eating hot food yeah Sophie's eating hot food um, um are you riding today no I'm well I might do a little bit of trotting bareback but I am working on getting on Finn Okay, so you're not trotting bareback, and the reason you're not trotting bareback, and the reason you're not riding, is because she has a little bit of um, whiplash. You guys know what whiplash is ride. like. Did you or did you not take Tylenol last night? I because you're a way how to get up without my thing hurting. Okay, well I need your thing to stop hurting before you ride. But I've ridden with it before. I know, but you didn't tell me before, and when it comes. That com was when I fell off Stella. Yeah. And I had a concussion. I still had to get back on after. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. I can get back on now. You're not getting back on. We have, uh, we have learned a lot over the time. It took me getting injuries for me to realize what it actually felt like when you have a little bit of whiplash. I had really bad whiplash when Finn ran me over in the field one time. I think well, that was last a year ago. Yeah, a year ago he ran me down and I threw my head back. I got a concussion and whiplash and it was as bad was as the, breaking my pelvis in seven spots. Was it was horrible. Day. I'm not riding until her neck is completely better. I want her muscles to heal up. Yeah. When I had whiplash, oh my gosh, having to shower, putting my head back, it was brutal. She does want to practice training a Finny to step up to the to the mounting block, so she's gonna do that. No, I'm riding Finn. No, she's gonna work with him. No, I'm riding Finn because I have no real. Well, we're gonna see who but you can as run. As long as I can practice getting on him after. Nobody's making chicken fingers. Everybody's having chicken. I, I support my kids eating meat for breakfast, especially when we're going and we're gonna be putting on a lot of energy. Gabby, tell us the problems that you're having right now with your dog. She's going through puberty. Yeah. This perfect. She 
she hasn't got she hasn't gotten her period yet, but she hasn't gotten any heat yet. But she's but it's she coming. Yeah, she feels invincible. She's like a teenager. She thinks that she's the boss. Like she's invincible too. She's still better she used than to run away all the time when I put her in my bed. She didn't even wait for me to fall asleep. And now, now she does. She, now she waits till I fall asleep. So, anyways, she's just slightly less well behaved. And, just slightly and, less. Don't do that. Did she growl? No, she pulled away. She growled when you kiss her. I kissed her today and she growled at me and never before in life and would she ever do that. And pull her clothes and kiss her? Yeah, but now she doesn't. We trained that out of her. But anyway, it's true. It's mild and minor, but it's, she's not our easygoing, relaxed puppy right now. Because we're so close to them and we do so much with them, we just notice that she's slightly different than she ever was before. She's nine months. A couple of days ago, today's the 17th? 16th, nine months on, on the, the 12th. Oh, on the 12th. So she just turned nine months old. And yeah, she's about to be, she's, she's, she's definitely getting ready for her first heat, I feel like. And then she'll have surgery. She'll have surgery. How do you feel about her having surgery? Yeah. As long as they don't shave. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want her to get shaved. Oh, they're going to shave her. Ugh. Just oh, her belly. Just her belly. Still, she needs her long hair. Daisy can't get shaved. Daisy has no hair. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna pack up, get ready, go to the barn. Last night I tried to sew some of the blankets, but my sewing machine needle uh, kept breaking the thread. So I don't know if it was that. I don't know. I don't know why it was happening. It was probably because the blanket was too big. Um, I think I can still fix some of them by sewing by hand but then I tried sewing by hand and then my thread kept breaking god it was trying to give me a sign that I was holding on by a thread last night like my thread kept breaking um so I'm gonna keep on trying trying to figure that out because I want to rescue the blankets that we have also you guys didn't see but um our friend Abby from the comments life with horses Abby's life with horses since sent me this gorgeous necklace yesterday it has Stella name on it uh, I'm going to show you the footage of us opening it. Didn't make it to today's video because we had so much stuff we had to put in it. Um, but it's her birthday today, so happy birthday, Abby. And here's the footage of us getting your gift. Wow, this is beautiful, Abby. It looks so different in person. It's stunning. It's beautiful. You are such, you are so creative. But look at that logo. Isn't that such a beautiful logo? I love it. She also sent a letter. Sophie's helping helping me here. She has such a nice Great printing. Can I open it? Sure. She said she was supposed to send it back in March, but it got sent back to her because she used the wrong packaging. And this thing that Sophie's opening was a gift for after Stella passed. The Stella Bell. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much, Abby. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for everything, Abby. I love the letter. It was awesome. So kind for you to send it. All right, it is, we have brought our Santa hats. Got there. Gabby got shocked. I heard a shock. Twice. Twice. Karma. It's karma, you guys. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. Just joking, Gabby. I love Gabby. Woo! I am cold. It is cold today. So the. Oh, good boys. Ah. Chino and Finn, just the two we want. Woohoo! We were all prepared for the long walk. He's like, oh no, we should have ran for it. I don't know where Stormy Boy is. What a blessing though. Mini miracle, you guys. This is it, the mini miracle. Whew, because it is cold today. We do not want to be walking. So it's like ouchy right now on the ground for anybody, but Chino just got his shoes taken off. We're gonna do like a little ride with him. We're not gonna do a ride. We're gonna do a little lunge with him. So you can do it in the barn. Yeah, Gabby, why not just make us all wait while you dress up your horse in the freezing cold minus 100 degree weather?
Alright, Sophie's still over there trying to get Finn. Uh-oh, Finn's like, no! Uh-oh. They're struggling too. They're all struggling. I don't blame them. Living out, he still looks ouchy. They don't want to go. <laughs> Cabby Sophie's like, Finn did not trust me. He didn't know I had a plan. But Sophie has a plan so that he's not walking in a yucky area. And Chino's, and Chino's not coming. Yeah, it's because they don't want to walk. We're, it's adorable. We love it. Sophie says that Finny's being a mare. My mare goes. Oh yeah, no, my mare doesn't go. My, my mare gives me problems too. <laughs> you know what? Most people would be like upset that their horses don't want to come, but I'm happy that they don't want to come because we've had them in places before where they've met us at the gate and been like, We're, I'm, I'm coming, don't leave me. And not that the place was bad, they just love it here so much. You're gonna like the arena footing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, so if we got Finn, I'm gonna have to go help Gabby. Oh, I say we move to Florida. Yep. Can't like, look, he doesn't wanna come here. This is like, this is. Well, he, he put, brought this upon himself. Come on, Tino. Come on, look. There's okay. more for you if you come. Come on. Oh, oh, it's dangerous. <laughs> come on, I got more. Come on, look. I love tall horses. <laughs> Barely even moving. I mean, the last time you brought him in, you shaved him. Took off his shoes. All he knows is pain now. Look, I got treats. Don't worry, I'll come on his boots. Yeah. Here, come on. Do you want to hold him while I grab him? You might want to walk with him. Okay, great. Leave me here in the freezing cold. Oh yeah, thank goodness she's gone. Come on, nope. Is there an easier way to go? What's the easy, he, I think, I don't know. Oh, he did a spook, come on. Spook yourself all the way to the barn. I feel bad for him. It's been like on Friday, in two more days it'll have been two weeks since he got his feet done. Come on. And when he got it done, the ground was kind of soft out. It was muddy, but not like, like look at it now. Like, the camera doesn't show depth. Like, get your foot caught in there, you're screwed. Come on. Love knows no boundaries, you guys. When you love your horse so much and they're saying like, I can't walk, it's too painful, it's, I'm scared to walk, then you make sure, then you do anything you can to make them feel comfortable. We might have to leave these on him. He, oh, he just kissed you, Gabby. No, he has a thing for a butt. <laughs> you have a thing for butts? He does have a thing for butts. Let me lick your butt. <laughs> Come on, Gino. Take him the other way. I think it's the, he, this is the easiest way. I know, but he thinks that this is the hardest way. <laughs> Can you pull him while I smack him? You want me to go push his bum? No, pull him. Well, Come on. I... Uh oh. Come on. Oh, there we go. See, it doesn't hurt. You're okay. Oh, good boy. I'll give you oh, treats quick. now. Good boy. Good job. Oh, I okay. You, might have, to, you might have to go smack him again. I'll go. He's really ouchy. All right, do it again. Come on. Oh, his blanket's got a little rip. Come on. Go. Oh, I feel really broken hearted for him. <laughs> He's moving pretty fast now. You lost your hat. Oh, he wants to go. I feel bad for him. Literally five minutes. Well, we've only been here 10 minutes and I'm already to go home. My hands are icy. Oh, look, he, the thing's bothering him. How does he look? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with him. I know, but he seems like he's never been a horse to like. 
Aww. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Gabby. Good boy. Oh, he. Penny, he's not super ambitious. Never seen him do that before. Do you think he's sore? You seem fresh. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. I can't save you. <laughs> Wow! I know, I've never seen him like this before. I think he thinks like, wow, these boots are awesome! Oh, he needed that run, maybe. He needed to get your muscles moving, handsome man. Yeah, he looks good in the boots. Even when he does take turns? Whoa! Oh, don't come to me! Don't come to me! We've never lunged him before. Have we ever lunged this horse before? Yeah, that's the biggest buck he's ever done in his life. <laughs> Well, the boots seem to help. <laughs> He's no racehorse. I love it. Love it. He's no racehorse, she says. He's no buck and bronco either. Oh, yeah. That, it feels good to see him move, though. Yeah, it's pretty to watch him. Like super coordinated. The biggest buck he's, he's ever done probably was to kick Storm in the chest because Storm was beating him up. So he kicked Storm. That was the first time he's ever been with Storm, though. Oh, oh boy. Alrighty. Oh. Ready to get ridden? Yeah, hopefully. You're gonna ride him? Yeah. With the shoes on? Probably, yes. Would you leave the shoes on him in the field? Probably. Well, I think he feels I think he feels better like you know how you sit on the couch for days and you eat junk all day and just eat and then people are like you have to get up and get moving and you're like no I don't want to and then you do and you feel better oh my goodness Finny you look so cute turn off the light all right so everybody can see it now that is cute <laughs> You are so cute. Look at the door, you guys. Oh, can, you close the door? can you see anything outside can the windows? The no, because it's icy. Is it heated in here now? Oh, it's warm in here. This is my room of choice. The old barn had this heated room. You guys know had it like a heated room, viewing room. You could go in and it just had like a electric heater that sat on the thing. So the only time you were like super, super warm is when you were standing right in front of the thing, putting your hands on it almost, which is what I did when I needed to get warm because my fingers are frozen. Uh, but this room has two heated tack rooms and the bathroom. The bathroom is like literally as warm as your house. It actually seems warmer than your house. Like, I'm just gonna stay in here while the girls tack up. Unless you guys live in Canada, you have no idea the struggles that Canadians have. Like, it's hard to walk out there, isn't it, Finny? But I'm glad, like, to see a horse being cautious because you know that they're not always cautious. Hello, handsome boy. You're not being ridden today because your sister, your owner has a, a sore neck yeah, and a sore hand. I have to try now. See? Oh. <laughs> So what? So what are you trying to say? So so I can ride bareback. So her neck gets sore. And me riding bareback is a big step. Yeah. Tell me. Tell them Especially when. Especially after I fell. Tell them when is your neck sore? Um, when I try and lift my head up. In the morning and at night. So after you've rested yeah, it. Yeah. But I found out how because when I lift it up like this, yeah. it hurts. Mm -hmm. When I'm like laying down. Yeah. But if I go like this, so like this side is like on the ground, and then lift my head up that way. 
So here's but the thing. Better, and that's how I got up to go pee in the middle of the night. Yeah, but here's the thing. Necks are dang, necks are a bad thing to hurt. You don't want them to be hurt, Sophie. You're definitely not going to trot them. I don't even want you getting on them, to be honest. Why? Because you need to heal your neck. If you my neck is healed. Sophie, wait till tonight and you leave it and you lay down and you don't move it around at all, then suddenly it's going to hurt again in the morning and at night. So uh, uh, we figured out, I was talking to Fiona, he's like just worried. He's a worried horse. Like that's... Yeah, he gets worried. He was, like a lot of the time... We him all summer because he was acting lame when we did tight turns on the grass. No, he was just worried because... Yeah, he like the only reason we put shoes on him, initially we were putting shoes on him because he was worried on the grass. Like he wouldn't he go forward very well because he was worried about slipping on the grass. So we wanted to put oh. shoes on so we could put oh. stud on, studs in him. So Chino's hair is already growing back from his clip. He's already getting and better. Might be some mane on and I don't think that we should, why? Gabby cut it. Gabby cut his mane? Yeah, it was good. That, that's his mane. Don't touch it. I got it perfectly on him. We, we, we weren't gonna touch it. Pull this up more. It takes. Boom. It's like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You know the oh, song? I he's like, he's like, oh no. They're gonna ride me. He wants to sour patch kids. Oh, I wish I brought my stuff. I would have ridden them. Actually, I won't ride them until January because you guys all know what happens to me in December. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, God. <laughs> He just wanted a Sour Patch Kids. Can he have a Jolly Rancher? No, he cannot have a Jolly Rancher. That's a choking hazard. Okay. I'm just waiting. I'm trying to see if you guys can see. You can't really see. One of today's many hearts. In real life, when you look at it, it looks like this gorgeous heart. <laughs> Here, you can kind of see it there. Our, this tech room is now heated. So there's three heated spots. And it's not like chintzy heated like how some barns have heated bathrooms so the pipes don't burst, but it's like 60 and freezing cold still. These are like, you could come in here to get warm, huh? Mm -hmm. Like, this is and better. And stay warm. Yeah. This one's a little cold because it's metal. Essentially, I have all different areas to stay you warm. Look, somebody else's butt flap. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. We're going to go and we are going to ride. Sophie's going to practice. He did not want to come with me today. No, he did not, but I don't, don't think worry, it's guys, us. I have my yeah. helmet. Yeah, it's not us, Sophie. It's not us. It's because it's awful. Like and like, I I would get if I had no shoes on and I had to walk they on that hard ground. That spot. Is yeah. Bad because there's like yeah. But like they like walking on the hay there. And Sophie even said like Finn didn't trust her that she had a plan, but she walked him around the well, whole area. I wasn't gonna walk through that bad thing and twist yeah. his ankle. I know. I, I, I know. We shouldn't a have walked. Spot. I took it through an easier spot. She took right. it through. Deep All right. Oh, I'm cold. Well, Let's go. Another heart. And another heart. Loving all the hearts you guys are sending me. So many of you guys are finding hearts. And I think it's amazing. Yeah, Sophie's going to love it. Yeah. Sophie's going to love it. 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 Sophie's it's freaking cold. Good boy, Chino. Chino did his best. They just did a flat because he's coming back into work after 10 days. Ow. How was he, Sophie? Gabby, did you find him lame at all? A little bit sore. But not lame, just a so little sore. Yeah, she found him like a lot. Just when the parts of the arena that weren't, the sand wasn't as thick. She found him just slightly. Every once in a while, he'd have, he'd be a little off. So, you got to take off his boots, eh? Look, his boots match his blanket. Is that adorable? Now you need a blue. I hate static electricity. I know. He probably hates it too. You're such a good pony. If you're wondering where Sophie is, she's gone. She's either in the bathroom, probably in the bathroom. You in the bathroom or the tack room? Soph? Hello? Oh, I gotta be in here for a minute. She's probably over here. In there, or she's in the car. Tips of my fingers are so cold. When I was in here, oops. When I was in here earlier, I had to run them under hot water just to get them to like be movable. They're so cold, and I had gloves on the whole time. Can you see it? It's freezing cold. 
Who thinks we should move to Florida? Who thinks we should move to Florida? I almost want to move to Florida. I believe that we're in a time right now where we're waiting to see what God wants us to do next. Like we're waiting, we're waiting for the new farm to arrive. Like we're waiting for God to push us in the next direction. I believe that God gives you the lesson sometimes before he gives you the blessing. And basically what I mean by that is that every time you're in like a stagnant time in your in your life in your journey you're just sitting there wondering what am I supposed to do next I'm not really happy with what I'm doing like I'm bored all those things it's usually because you're learning lessons you're learning lessons at that time those are the times when you're like especially when you're bored or especially when you're unhappy it's because God is giving you those emotions to kind of guide you and push you into doing something different so you're learning the lessons before the good amazing thing happens where you're meant to go so there are like ups and downs all through life and right now I feel like we're kind of in a learning our lesson stage before we get to this big jump where we want to go in the future what if my blessing is meant to happen in Florida like I could handle that don't you know that you're beautiful?